hello everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you guys are doing great i hope your loved ones are doing great i hope you all are staying safe out there stay protected and just try to be positive it's really hard but we have to try and find out one thing to give us some amount of comfort during this time because i'm going through it myself and i can tell you personally it's not easy but um i try to keep myself busy if i realize that you know i'm getting depressed or if i'm thinking or worrying about anything too much i will definitely try to get busy and that's one of the reasons why i'm doing this video before my upload schedule so in this video i want to talk about a product it's melatonin right um this one is a three milligrams and what melatonin is melatonin is a chemical that the body produces, and it what is it responsible for um so basically it is produced by the penile gland right you'll hear some persons talking about opening your third eye and all of that so that the penile gland is really what they're talking about so the penile gland it produces this chemical called melatonin you can get this from some foods so we have the natural one here this one is plant derived and it's from the sundown brand so what it does really it regulates your um the body's sleep and wake cycle that is what basically makes you get sleepy that is what basically wakes you up right um there are some cases and uh, quite a few wherein uh, um, some persons it can be for many reasons it can be hormonal reasons other medical reasons so and it will be so and one of those things is called insomnia where some persons may not have it easily um, to fall asleep or wake up um, naturally so some persons they may sleep for long hours and irrespective of sleeping for long hours they'll still feel a bit tired so um, this product it will really really help this is something that I've taken for myself personally this one I bought it here in Jamaica I first discovered melatonin about I'm gonna say about four years ago um, through a Facebook friend who also has thyroid disease and um, Maybe if you've been on this channel, you've heard me talk about having hyperthyroidism and the many challenges. And one of my challenges is that I have insomnia. There are times when I can't sleep. Um, so that's how my friend suggested taking this product. And it has done a lot for me because during those times when I couldn't sleep, you know, it was hard for me to go to work and still function. I would be so sleepy. I would be so irritable. I would be easily agitated, but this really helps. And what I like about it too, as a product that helps you to sleep, whenever you take this product, you don't oversleep. And, you know, this, not saying it doesn't have any side effect, it does because it does cause dizziness, nausea in some persons, not everyone. Some persons have reported feeling any some mild, some moderate, and you have, uh, I was reading on um, Amazon wherein one customer said that she was admitted to the ER but what also I've discovered in my research is that it depends on the brand and it depends on the dosage. And that is the reason why sometimes it's really good to start off on the lower amounts so that your body can adjust to the product. So as you adjust to it, you can see how the low amounts work for you and then you can decide um, from there if you want to take higher than what you're currently taking um the next amazing thing about this is that it really helps with anxiety and i'm gonna tell you something and this is no myth research has shown that melatonin helps even better than the placebo sugar pill and for those of you who know what that is 
you know that if this helps better than the placebo sugar pill, it means that it's a big deal. And it helps with um, lowering your blood pressure. So if you have high blood pressure, it also helps with lowering your blood pressure as well. So if you have any problems of anxiety, mood swing, it really, really does help. Um, so yeah, you can basically, I got this here, but the very first time I bought it, I bought it on Amazon. And if you don't want to take the supplements, because this is natural, right? You can try to look for foods that um, has this ingredient in it, but it's just that you basically have to consume a large amount of this food before going to bed and that's not ideal so it would be best to take the supplements they have this in the pill form they have it in a liquid form they even have this product for babies can you believe that babies babies do have sleeping problem for what reason only god knows but there are babies who do have a sleeping problem um and they have the kids formula melatonin as well so um you can just check it out and if you're a person who travels or not travels but if you're troubled with insomnia sleep cycle like it's hard for you to wake up at a particular time because i can tell you personally from t whenever i take this product i can tell you that i'm gonna sleep deep and when i said deep sleep for me what that means is means i'm totally relaxed i'm sleeping i'm resting and i wake up anywhere from five to seven hours and even if my alarm doesn't go off i'm up i feel fresh i feel revived and i'm ready to go i kid you not but also to a drawback on this product is um, if you drive, especially if you drive long distance and you're caught in traffic and you may have to stop maybe five minutes or so, you have to be careful because you may find yourself, that's for some persons, not everyone, you may find yourself dozing off in the afternoon going into the evening because it helps to regulate as i said it helps to regulate your sleep and wake cycles right and you're gonna also find that after a period of time you're not gonna need to take it um it's like it's gonna regulate your hormones in such a way that your body is gonna start functioning your penile gland is gonna start functioning as it should so you're gonna see where at a certain time you will definitely want to go to bed you will sleep and you will sleep peacefully and you will wake up and feeling well rested um i got this here this one i bought i think i bought this inside a pharmacy and it's like 985 Jamaican dollars plus tax. They're on Amazon like for three US dollars, two dollars and change, five dollars. It all depends on the brand. You can go on Amazon, you can read the reviews and from there you can choose which brand might be best for you. If you're currently taking a sleeping medication, you can ask your doctor if this because chances are you might be taking other medications but this is normally safe to take with anything but it's best for you to ask but i did not ask my doctor because i know that i'm taking thyroid medication and i've um always heard wendy williams saying that she takes her melatonin so when my friend um recommended this to me and my friend sent me the bottle I know that I wasn't going to ask my doctor if I can take this because I know um, the one that the doctor was prescribing for me, even though it was very cheap, it had um, the side effect of, that was an evil lucid dream, that was nightmare, and anything like that can't be good for you. So if you're taking a nat natural product that helps to regulate your sleep and wake cycle, if you're putting something natural into your body, your body will adjust and you know, the, the product will definitely work as it should versus a chemical that the body doesn't produce, right? Because um, chemicals that are not produced 
by the body whenever you take them the side effects can be just unimaginable, unimaginable. even though um, scientists may say it does this it does that you ever hear some person saying that well I am that person who end up with the worst side effects that's what um, prescribed medication does for some persons others may have excellent experience while some of us may not I am the person who I can't take a prescribed sleep medication or else I'm going to end up with the worst possible side effect. So I've learned my lesson and I've learned that this, this is definitely the only thing for me. And I don't even need it as much because this one comes with 60 and I've had this bottle for over a year now and I kid you not. I don't need that much because if you look, if you can see, this is what I have left from 60 for over here now, one year. And let me see if I can get them. I basically have maybe more than half because it's not something that you're going to need. Let me see, yes. 60 comes in the bottle and I have that. So just to show you, and any product that I review on my channel, they're never sponsored. It's just that I have been to what I would call hell and back as it relates to my health. Um, having thyroid disease and the side effects from thyroid medication and then I've developed other illnesses caused from um, overactive thyroid. For example, no, I have chronic urticaria. And when I say chronic, it is so severe. I could eat a slice of bread and a slice of bread could put me in the hospital. I could eat like a peanut, one single shell, and I could be in the hospital. And they give you these steroids to counteract the um, allergy because chronic urticaria, I'm, um, as some would call it, um, for some persons, they have it mild, they have it severe, and have chronic. If you have um, mild, you can drink what we call um, cola nuts. I think that's BC, if I'm not wrong. I think that's a scientific name for BC. Some persons can drink that and it gets get rid of it. For me, I can't drink BC, I can't drink DPH, I can't drink Istal to get rid of my hives i have to take steroids and anybody out there knows about steroid you can be taking steroids and the same steroid that you're taking to get rid of your allergies is the same steroid that puts you in your grave it's not um the best thing ever but at the same time um when you really look into medicine there isn't any choice because if you have um, a chronic illness to the point where I've been at work and I, I bought chicken, right? Not to stray from the point of the melatonin that I was talking to you about, but just to create a little conversation for you to understand my channel, what my channel is about and how I came about starting this channel and why is it that you may only see just health products because I have been to hell and back and I kid you not when I say I have been to hell I have been to hell and back and I kid you not as it relates to my health um, there were times when I've been in the hospital nobody was there but me I didn't have anybody visiting maybe no one even know that I'm in the hospital some of the time because I was so tired of calling persons and saying hey I'm in the hospital again I I just grew tired of it right there are times when I get admitted and okay I can breathe the swelling is no longer at my throat but my face would look like a jackfruit or a, or a potato and I would say to them I'm gonna self-discharge and you have to sign a slip to self-discharge because I'm fearful of steroid and they would keep pumping these steroids into my body just for the swelling and, 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 and other 
anti-inflammatory drug just for the this swelling to go down and it works it gets rid of the swelling but the next time i have an allergy attack it's like 10 times worse than the one that i had before and it's like i'm trapped in this cycle like attack after attack after attack after attack after attack and i got so frustrated i was so depressed to the point where i was really thinking negatively because i'm saying i don't like the surgery i've done one surgery in my life and at the time they didn't know how i had thyroid disease at that time it was in my body i was sick they didn't know what it is so that could have killed me and since then i've been so fearful of doing any form of surgery but it got to the point where i'm saying what can I do? What surgery there is for me to get rid of these hives? Because I'm already living with thyroid disease. Um, I have to get the thyroid level down. It has to be controlled before they can remove the thyroid gland. And then for those persons who they have removed their thyroid glands, their health is no better than mine. So I don't think it's even beneficiary to remove the thyroid gland. That's just my opinion. Based on persons who I've spoken to, their health condition is similar to mine. It's just that that person might be taking one pill once a day, while I'm taking four pills two times a day. But I still have my thyroid gland. And to me, if I still have it, there's some hope, there's some possibility of it getting healed, right? So um, that's the reason for starting my channel. I was just tired of being tired tired of being sick and uh, my hair would fall out and all of that so um you know i started researching about products and how i could improve my health my eyes they were bulgy you would think that i was staring at you like this all the time when i wasn't because that's what um, thyroid does so now i'm trapped with these steroids after steroids after steroids so i've i've been able to really work on a lot by myself and i am grateful for that i have i've seen results even as it relates to my skin my skin used to look so bad after thyroid disease it gives you because it does so much to your body and your hormone that you might be brown in complexion like uh, jamaican browning per se and you may end up with my complexion you, you you may look like you have a kidney disease or you may look like you have been poisoned but it's thyroid and sometimes you want to get up and you want to clean your house you you want to do your laundry you want to go to the gym and you can't because you have no energy and if you go to the gym and you try to lift any weight you're near everything start wobble people think that you know why are you always shaking you know i remember walking into a store um at New Kingston and I when I picked up an item, the gentleman held my hand and said, you know that you're shaking? And I said, yeah, I know I have thyroid disease. It happens sometimes, especially if I drink coffee, even though I'm not supposed to drink caffeine, but I love coffee. So I'll have it occasionally, but I would just want to share with, with you guys my experience and what has led me on my natural medicine journey. Maybe I should have put this in another video, but you know, life is not perfect and it shows in this video. You know, I'm getting more comfortable with um, talking in front of a camera and all of that. So you may see this going on and my vision is just to help at least one person. If there's somebody out there who has any similar um, experience like I have crying for help searching for help I hope that my channel helps at least one person 
and I'm, 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 I'm really emotional even thinking about it, just thinking about my experiences, the things that I've been through and where I'm at. I didn't even have hair because, you know, the thyroid would give you dry brittle hair. Your skin look, looks like snake skin and, you know, but you're going to see other videos with me telling you the things that I've used um, to help get back my hair, help, you know, bringing back my skin, my complexion. I can't always buy those products. I would really love to always buy them, but especially knowing what is going on in Jamaica right now, um, you know, with this corona thing, it has messed up work for many people, including myself, because I, I still have a job, thank God, but it's not paying what it used to and you know business are making decisions of whether they should close down or lay off or whatever so it's really hard and um i just want to encourage anybody out there that if you think you're alone you may see my face looking like this but you have no idea what's going on in my background that cream wall isn't my background and when i say my background my reality if you know what's going on in my life even at the present moment you'd be shocked but what i do i try to create some kind of positivity whenever i'm down and i think maybe youtube has helped to save me during this time because i find myself even creating a second channel because I just want to keep myself busy whenever I get negative or um, thoughts or anything. I just want to create that. So I'm just really glad that I have this opportunity. You see, I'm doing this, I'm itching my skin because what did I have? Potatoes. Um, I bought that at a cafe. Maybe they had some kind of seasoning to it. I'm even allergic to seasoning. So then I may have to end up taking a steroid to get rid of that. And then, you know, but I'm no, I've learned to build up my immune system so that the steroid doesn't have that much of a, of a negative impact on me as it used to. So I've learned from my research. I've learned from buying these products and I just wanted to share that with you guys. I want to help someone, I want to touch someone and you never know, you may share this video and it helps someone, you never know. Because when you're not able to sleep, I think that's one of the worst things someone can go through. You start hallucinate, you see things that aren't there and when um, others around you look at you then they, they think you're crazy and uh, especially if you living live in a black community a community i think the culture among black people is so different i don't know what's the reason for that but we some of us not all of us we often tend to use harsh words to describe and diagnose instead of saying someone is sleep deprived you know we may use the word as that person is going crazy and especially in a time like this we have to try and be kind we have to choose our words carefully because we might be out there on social media saying that you know we care about people we want the world to be a better place but are you saying that just on social media but not doing it in reality what is your input in reality to making this world a better place because if you're gonna go on social media and say something that is harsh mean to someone you're definitely not creating a positive impact nor a positive and pleasant memory so at the end of the day are you really making this world a better place and those are things that we should consider you know we have to start looking out for each other because um I mean, why are we here? You know, you and your family alone can't survive. If just imagine this world with yourself in it, or just imagine this world with you being the only person that lives, you wouldn't want to live, right? 
we need each other to survive so we have to help each other and therefore i'm asking you to share my video you never know who this may help or inspire and please leave a comment let me know what else you would like to see let me know what you think about this video do you think that i should have done this video in two parts where i'll talk about the melatonin and then close it out and move on to the general discussion about life behavior and what is going on today let me know what you really think because i really do value of the opinion of others whether i know you or not especially if it's gonna be positive even harsh critical um comments once it's once there's some element of positivity in it i will gladly um, consider it so yeah just share my video subscribe to my channel leave a comment and i'm gonna put the link to the melatonin products in the description box so thanks for watching guys bye